Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use genetic algorithm to maximize the value of a given function. This is the solved example number two. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we have been given a function that is f of x is equal to minus x square plus 2x. The value of x will go from 0 to 2. Also, we have been given the initial population with uh, the four chromosomes here. The random numbers are given to us so that we can select the best chromosome from this uh, initial population. Also, the crossover points are given. The crossover points is first and fifth digit here. Given this particular data, we need to apply the genetic algorithm so that we can get the maximum value from this particular function here. Now, uh, we need to apply the genetic algorithm. The first step in genetic algorithm is to select the best encoding technique. For each of the possible solution, we need to find the encoding technique. In this case, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value will be equal to 2 here. Now, we need to find an encoding technique to represent this particular solution. But as a part of problem definition, they have given the four chromosomes in the initial population. Each chromosome contains five digits here. Each digit is either 0 or 1 in this case. So, there is no need to encode the given problem definition into our own uh, solutions here because it is already given as a problem part of problem definition. If it is not given, we need to find a way to encode the solution and then we need to proceed from there onwards. I have already solved one sol problem where I have discussed how to encode the solution into a chromosome. The link for that video is given in the description below. The next step in genetic algorithm is to select the initial population. Again, uh, if initial population is not given, we need to select some of the chromosomes from the set of possible solutions as uh, randomly and then we need to form the initial population. But in this case, uh, we have been given the initial population already. That is the four chromosomes are given. That is the reason the initial population size is equal to four here. Now, the next step in genetic algorithm is to select the best chromosomes from this initial population and then apply the crossover here. Before we apply the crossover, first we need to convert this particular chromosome value or the individual value into a real number in the range of 0 to 2. So, that can be done something like this. The first individual is 11010 here. So, if you want to convert this particular chromosome into a number that is 0 to 2 here, we need to use this particular formula. The minimum value is 0 plus 2 minus 0 that is the maximum is 2 and minimum is 0 here. 2, uh, that is the reason I have used 2 minus 0 divided by the maximum possible value with respect to, to this encoding. So, if I have all 1's here that is nothing but uh, 31 that can be represented in the form of uh, 2 raised to 5 minus 1 here because we have 5 digits. If you have 7 digits here it will be 2 raised to 7 minus 1. So, that is how actually you can get the denominator here multiplied by the actual value of this particular chromosome that is equal to 26. So, we need to convert this particular binary chromosome into a decimal value that is 26. Once you solve it, you will get 1.677 here. Similarly, we have to do it for a second individual. This part remains same. Only thing is uh, the value of this uh, in chromosome is equal to 7. Once you solve it, you will get 0 0.451 here. The same thing is done for a third and fourth individual so that we will get the real numbers in the range of 0 to 2. Once you get this particular initial population and the real number, next we need to apply the fitness function and then we need to get the fitness score for each of these particular chromosomes. In the first case, the value of x is equal to 1.677. If I put this particular value in this particular function, I will get 0.541 as the fitness score. In the second case, we have the x value is equal to 0.451. If I use this particular value, I will get the fitness score as 0.699. Similarly, I will get the fitness score for third and fourth chromosome here. Once you get the fitness score, we need to get the sum of this particular fitness score, the average of that particular fitness score and the maximum value. The maximum value in this case is 0 0.824. For the initial population, the maximum value for this particular function is 0.824 here. Now, we need to apply the crossover for this initial population and then we need to maximize this particular value. For that reason, first we need to calculate the probability here. If you want to calculate the probability, we need to use this equation that is probability is equal to f of x divided by 
summation of f of x here. In the first case, the f of x is equal to 0.541 and sum of this f of x is equal to 2.6056. So, 0.541 divided by 2.6056 is equal to 0.21 here. Second one is 0.699 divided by 2.6056 is equal to 2.27. Similarly, we need to calculate the probability for third and fourth chromosome here. So, once you calculate the probability for each of these uh, chromosomes, now we need to calculate the cumulative probability. So, the first one remains uh, same that is 0.21. Second one will be the addition of uh, previous probability plus 0.27 that is 0.21 plus 0.287 which is equal to 0.48 here. The next one is 0.48 plus 0.32 which is equal to 0 0.8. 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 will be the next cumulative probability here. Once you calculate the cumulative probability, next we need to calculate the random number range here. So, the first random number range will be from 0 to 0 0.21. The next range will be 0 0.21 is the highest in the previous case. So, the next one will be 0.22 till 0.48 that is what I have written here. The next time it will become 0.49 to 0.8 here and the next time it will become 0.81 to 1 in this case. So, once you calculate this particular random number range, next we need to use the random numbers given to us and then we need to select this particular uh, best chromosomes here. So, the random number given to us are 0 0.4, 0 0.15, 0 0.7 and 0 0.9. So, first random number is 0 0.4 which will fall in this range that is 0 0.22 to 0 0.48 because it will fall in this particular range the chromosome selected is 00111 in this case. The next random number is 0 0.15 which falls in this particular range that is nothing but this one. The next uh, chromosome selected is this one over here. Similarly, we have selected the two more chromosomes over here. Once you select these particular chromosomes, next we need to apply the crossover uh, on these particular chromosomes so that we will get the new offspring or you can say that the uh, chromosomes in the next generation here. Now, uh, we have been given the crossover point. The first crossover point is uh, first uh, digit and the second one is uh, fifth digit here. The first two pair of uh, chromosomes are 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 here. Now, if you apply these particular crossover points at the first digit and the fifth digit, this particular column that is 0 and 1 and this particular column that is 1, 0 before crossover point and after crossover point will not change. They will remain same here, here also and here also. Only thing is from this uh, crossover point to this particular crossover point, we need to put these particular data points over here. These particular data points will be placed over here. So, 1, 0, 1 will come and sit here. 0, 1, 1 will come and sit over here. These are the two new chromosomes we will get in the next uh, generation here. Similarly, for the second pair of strings, that is, this is the second pair strings. For this uh, second pair string, again, we are applying the cr uh, crossover at first and fifth uh, digit here. These uh, things will remain same. We don't change those particular things, that is, before crossover point and after crossover point. These uh, three uh, digits or the genes. 0, 1, 1 will come and sit here, 0, 1, 0 will come and sit here so that we will get the new generation in this case. So, these are the four chromosomes we will get in the new generation or you can say that these are the offsprings for the initial population. Once you get these uh, chromosomes in the new generation, uh, we need to decode this particular uh, chromosome so that we will get the x value. Again, we need to apply the same process that is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 is the chromosome here. The minimum value is 0 plus maximum is 2, minimum is 0 that is 2 minus 0 is a numerator. Denominator is the maximum value possible from 5 digits here that is nothing but 2 raised to 5 minus 1 multiplied by the actual value of this particular binary number that is equal to 11 in decimal. So, once you solve it, you will get 0 0.709. Similarly, we have to do it for the remaining three individuals. So, once you solve it, you will get these uh, x values or the decoded values. Once you get these particular decoded values in the next, that is the first generation, we need to calculate the fitness score using this fitness function. So, in the first case, x value is equal to 0 0.709. If I put that value here, we will get 0 0.915 as the fitness score here. Similarly, we will get different fitness score for 
four chromosomes here. Next, we will calculate the sum of uh, fitness score, average of fitness score, and then the maximum here. If you look at this particular maximum, we got 0.915 as the maximum uh, fitness score for this particular generation. For the initial uh, generation, we got uh, 0.824. For the first generation, we got 0.915, which is increased significantly from initial population to the first generation here. Still, if you want to increase this uh, uh, fitness score for the given function, we need to calculate again the probability. We need to calculate the cumulative probability and then we need to calculate the random range. Once you calculate the random range, again we need to select these particular chromosomes, apply the crossover and the same thing has to be repeated again and again so that we will get the maximum value for that particular function. So in this case, I have shown one generation. The same thing has to be repeated n number of times so that you will get the maximum value for this particular function. So in this video, I have discussed how can we apply genetic algorithm for the given problem definition so that we will get the maximum value here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.